else's culture and identity and then take it home, right? It's something that's something that people are a part of. We lived in villages along the bay where the fresh water met salt water many times, right? And so our creek, like the Sean Creek, which is now called San Leandro Creek, is right where the bay came, right? Our um, village site was there, but our village sites were all over the place. Uh, wherever there was creeks, and amazingly, in the Bay Area, in Oakland, there was lots and lots of creeks that were here, right? Almost every creek now has been covered and has been detoured and has been moved in some kind of way, and these creeks are, are not available to us to be a part of our lives so much anymore, right? But they were a very, part, a very um, important living part of us. Now imagine, this building has been here for 100 years. Just 100 years before that, 200 years ago, we could drink out of every single creek in the Bay Area. The water was that fresh. Just 200 years ago, right? That there was, there was salmon and there was rainbow trout that would go up these creeks. Everything that we needed was close by. I also think about, when we look at the Bay Area today, right? We look at this, uh, this, everything that's built here was built within the last couple of hundred years. Nothing was here before. It's not like the building on the East Coast, right? Where everything was built uh, more than, more uh, longer time than that. Here in the East Bay, it's really fresh, it's really new, it's really different, it's still evolving, it's still moving. And these creeks um, really still have to be taken care of. I like to put this up because it shows that we also were not passive in the colonization that happened to our people here, right? Colonization happened here numerous times, not just one time. Three different times consecutively in a very short period that our ancestors had um, to deal with people that come, came in here. And I wish I had this, um, this map. Maybe I could have more time here. Well, the, Sp the missionaries came with the Spanish soldiers, but I have this map that I do sometimes with young people, and it's the coast of California, right? You guys know what calling dibs is? Everybody knows calling dibs? I call dibs on that cookie over there, right? Because I want to be the one that gets to eat it, right? So imagine in around 1547, around there, right? There's a Spanish ship that's floating along the coast of California, and they're coming around the Bay Area, <laughs> And somebody in that ship calls dibs. They don't get off the ship. They don't come and meet the people. They don't do anything. They're just floating on by, and they call dibs. And that's how Spain got California, right? 200 years later, Spain was freaked out that Russia was going to encroach on the territory they called dibs on a couple hundred years ago, right? So what they did was they said, what can we do to hold the land down? Because the Russians are working with Northern California native people and spur trade. So what are we going to do to hold down our land? Well, they have already colonized the people of Mexico, what we now call Mexico. And the way that they did that was that they used these Spanish missions, these churches, right? And so many times when people talk about churches or the missions, they think about the native people, and then they talk about gold rush next, and then those people are gone. We don't think about it anymore, right? It's not a part of the history anymore. You learn about Spanish missions and that it was a great thing for native people because they didn't have any industry here, and they didn't know how to farm, and they didn't know how to do lots of different things, right? But for our people, it was a time of devastation, right? And I tell young people the same story. I said, imagine you go home. This is what happened. So the mission started around the same time, a little earlier, but not too soon uh, before, the same time that people were fighting for um, their independence on the East Coast was when the missionaries came up from Mexico to start holding down the land here, right? And they didn't actually have enough people to build the missions, right? And so what did they do? So starting from the bottom of California to Sonoma, they created 21 missions. The first nine missions was um, created by this man named Junipero Serra. And Junipero Serra um, did this great thing, for, according to him. He grabbed all the native people that were close by and he enslaved them. 
And so we never talk about the slavery that actually happened at these missions, right? So I often call them the first in, uh, prison industrial complex in what is now California, right? Native people had to build their own prison system and stay there. And so my ancestors, like many people, uh, all the California Native people,